Parker, it's July 22nd, so I look very much forward to my uh, punishment or challenge or whatever you want to call it for losing Monopoly. Now, uh, Stephen Hawking has been in the news lately. Uh, Stephen Hawking does often come up in the news just for whatever reason, but he's back in the news and I'm very, very much excited for the reason he is in it this time. So Stephen Hawking has um, teamed up with a Russian billionaire to uh, rent out telescope time in two observatories, one in America and one in Australia. These are the two most powerful observatories on each continent. He is going to scan through the cosmos in the hope of finding intelligent life. Naturally, people are kind of mixed on this endeavor. Uh, some people think that, like, we shouldn't go out hunting aliens just in case that they're, like, way more advanced than us and they are indeed malicious and they are potentially going to destroy us. I kind of feel this way. I don't think that we should go mess- I, I kind of like fear that if there are indeed aliens they are advanced and that we will get like the short end of the stick in uh, any communication. But on the other hand, I'm so excited because this is such an amazing opportunity and I'm really glad that like all these things are happening in my lifetime. Like just recently we got like the clearest picture of Pluto ever and like that was something that like blew my mind. And I love space. I'm not a fan of sci-fi as we have hashed out gosh knows how many times, but I am very very excited about the happenings of space and any like more research we get. The budget of this whole endeavor called the Breakthrough Listen Project is a hundred million dollars, which to me that is an irrational amount of money and I can't even kind of comprehend what that can buy, but I'm sure to a billionaire that that's not like that massive of a chunk of change. Funnily enough, the Russian billionaire was apparently named after Yuri Gagarin, who was the first person to fly in space in 1961, which was the year that the Russian billionaire was born. His name is Yuri Milner. So as I understand this, um, keep in mind I, I am not a scientist in any capacity, I don't pretend to be. They're just gonna like kind of scan the cosmos and hope that they see something or find something that is representative of any sort of life. I guess be it intelligent or not, I guess they're hoping for intelligent life that we can kind of communicate with maybe. Now one thing I find interesting is the project's name, which is Breakthrough Listen. This is because Hawking and Milner, I believe, want to put an emphasis on just kind of listening to what's in space and, you know, in the hopes that we hear something or we see something or we find something. We're listening for responses, basically, is what it's going down to, rather than as we usually do in the past, where we beam out our own message to aliens in the hopes that we get a response. Now, in a lot of ways, I think that Breakthrough Listen has the potential because we're just searching. This is a purely searching project. It's just, the whole goal is just to find something. Will they be successful? I don't think so. I think that the chances of getting any sort of life, much less intelligent life, um, in the capacity that they can communicate with us across gosh knows how far of a distance. I think that that is very slim and I don't necessarily think it's gonna happen. Would I love to be proven wrong though? I would immensely, I would love to be proven wrong. I would love for us to find like some sort of other life in the universe. I think that that would be pretty dang amazing even though uh, humans Probably, like, I, I don't know how we would match up against this potential alien race, but I, I don't know. So, Parker, this is just something in the news that I found interesting and I've been reading all about, and you've probably heard of it, but, uh, we're- it, here you go again. Here's, like, a little summation. Again, I look forward to my punishment. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, Parker. DFTBA. Stay super.